And now to the roller coaster that is Delmarva's weather pattern. Yeah, we have seen both spring and winter this week, and there might be more snow on the way. So that makes the question, are you ready for round two? We'd like to introduce to you Lauren Irby. She's the manager of public relations and community outreach with Delaware Electric Cooperative. Joining us this afternoon via Zoom. Lauren, how are you? Good afternoon. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Wonderful. Thanks for talking to us. Listen, we want to just start right off the bat and, and jump in the deep end. Would you please tell your crews, thank you so much for all of their hard work in keeping the power on. Oh, absolutely. We we are so um, heartwarmed by the outpouring of the support from our membership. We've been passing along the social media updates and messages that members have uh, been posting on our Facebook page to our employees, especially to our line crews out in the field. You know, you're really battling the elements when you're uh, restoring power in a storm like we saw on Monday. Yeah, so actually I wanted to ask you about that. What are, what are some of the things that these folks had to endure out in that storm? Well, as you can imagine, you know, the uh, sometimes the visibility was very poor. Um, you're in conditions where trees are falling. You have to uh, remove a tree before you get to a road, you know, a foot of snow in some places. So uh, if you're not working out in the field, you can really take for granted, you know, walking out in the parking lot. Oh, gosh, you know, it's got to get my boots on. But, you know, they're out there the whole time uh, really battling the cold temperatures and and ice and snow, so right. it can be tough. So you've got tough crews. Uh, we, we maybe have round two coming this way towards the end of the week. Uh, we don't wanna push the limits of your tough crews. So is there something that we can do now to help prepare before that weather gets here? Absolutely. We, um, as a utility, especially this time of year, uh, we're always you know ready and prepared in case mother nature throws a surprise our way. and. Um, in those situations where you know you see on the news that a storm system may be heading our way, it's always a good idea to prepare ahead as far as food, water, medications, making sure your pets or farm animals are considered in those plans as well. And you know, calling your doctor if you have any questions about medications that need to be refrigerated. Um, you know, food in the freezer will normally remain safe for two days after a power outage, but you know, your refrigerator could be about four hours and when in doubt, throw the food out after the fact. So just taking those things into consideration, making sure you have non-perishable food items ready and just being prepared for the possibility of an extended outage. You know, our crews, they work fast, but they also work safely. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes that may take a little while. So, you know, being mentally prepared for the um, possibility of an outage of an hour or maybe up to a day or two. Yeah, yeah, and patience. Thank you and so patience. much, Lauren Irby, with Delaware Electric Co-op. And uh, stay warm, and we'll keep our fingers crossed that we don't get bad weather this weekend. Absolutely, stay safe. Mm -hmm.